what is so exciting to you about having this play produced in the digital space? At heart, this play, which is about the internal lives of seven different undocumented Bostonians crossing paths in the same day, because we're going inside their minds and their, their lives and they're telling us stories and us really means the audience, they're telling us stories, mm -hmm. this medium is perfect because you really get to have that close up connection with them as they tell their stories. It's like taking the voyeuristic nature of theater, um, which is like a, a deep peer into like a, a life um, to a next level. It gives us the feeling that like, oh my gosh, this person really is only talking to me right now. Yeah. And so I also think there's a, a larger, greater call to action um, that comes from someone feeling like I, I can't escape this gaze. Right. And therefore, I'm like further sucked in. I'm further like falling in love with what's happening. And now I'm led to do something. The online world has made theater more democratic in a way than it has been in a really, really long time. Um, people can come to see this show from wherever they are. They can also see it for free. So there's so so little barrier to access the, the play, which I'm so excited about, but especially for the stakeholders, for the people that I interviewed who couldn't safely come into a theater, who would have to roll the dice and make a decision. Can I go see the show? Can I go be a part of my own story? And it's so exciting to me that they can all participate, that they can be there for this and they can say, hey, there are our lives.